Hey yo everyone, welcome back to another Terraria video. Today we are checking out mods that expand the ocean and other watery content in Terraria. Believe it or not, there is a good bit, but at the same time, there isn't that many. I do wish that there was a lot more, but oh well, what can you do? Maybe 1.4 when that becomes more stable, we'll get a lot more ocean and water theme mods. But yes, today's video is a part of the Team Seas initiative by Mr. Beast. We'll get more into that later. Let's get into some of the content from these mods we're starting with thorium here the thorium mod is a very popular mod i don't think i really need to explain too much but thorium adds in a nice little biome called the aquatic depths and this biome along with calamity i i think i just really like ocean themed biomes this is sick biome let me turn on the uh brightness here not too bright though let's do like 70 50 as you can see we're seeing some other uh watery creatures from other mods everywhere it's very nice let me go ahead and summon a mount that i can move around with here like a whale why not but yeah look at this the music bumping one of my favorite soundtracks the creatures here we got a blowfish we got feeding frenzy we got some vampire squids there's a crown of thorns all of my favorite underwater creatures let me go ahead and spawn in a bunch of the enemies that spawn here a bunch of the cooler ones there is legit a whale and i believe that's how you get this whale mount what other insane creatures are there how about a giant eel look at that and it looks really funny underwater too but yeah that's a vault eel i'm assuming it does electric damage when it hits you i'm gonna kill it for now uh there actually is a kraken let's see how this looks this sprite has been updated a lot since the mod first released the aquatic depths and it looks a lot better now i like how it looks it's awesome along with the kraken there is an octopus which is a pre-hard mode version of the kraken pretty much you'd find here in the aquatic depths because believe it or not the aquatic depths is affected by what difficulty you're on there is also sharks in here we got regular sharks in terraria what about a hammerhead yes sir uh there's also giga clams there's a lot of enemies here there's a lot of enemies clams barracudas man of wars blowfish you know a bunch of things that you could think of but let's get to my favorite here, the blobfish. Who doesn't love blobfishes in video games? There's that one mod in Minecraft that has a blobfish. I think it's Alex's mobs. But yeah, besides all of the monsters and stuff, you know, there's obviously a bunch of items in here. But there's a big boy boss in here known as Abyssion, which is like a giant shellfish. And as you do damage to it, his shell sort of breaks off. You get him to that last face, his shell breaks off. And he's like a turret. Look at him. He's like a turret just shooting around, spinning around in circles. But yeah, there you go. Bisyon defeated. Cool place. It really is a cool place. There actually is a little bit of progression here since it does have a boss. And there's a good bit of weapons and stuff you can get both pre-hard mode and hard mode. But other than that, let's head on to the next ocean slash water expanding mod. All right, so let's talk a little bit about Team Seas here. So if you guys don't know Team Seas, it's very similar to Mr. Beast Team Trees initiative. But this time, when you donate a dollar, that equals a pound of trash removed from oceans, beaches, rivers. And the goal of Team Seas is to hit 30 million, which is a big number, but that also means 30 million pounds will be removed from oceans, beaches, rivers. It's literally one of the best things we can ask for here and what better than a person behind it than mr beast and mark rover and of course you know i participated in team trees what was that two years ago now so of course i gotta participate in team seas i love the world why would i want to see it polluted especially the ocean so yeah along this video i'll have links i'll have even a fundraiser thing i've never done a fundraiser thing on youtube so it's gonna be interesting to see that on the side of one of my videos but yeah there's gonna be a whole fundraiser thing just like even if you guys can't donate like a dollar or anything just the sharing of team c's just like telling other people about it will help so much is letting people be aware of this issue and you know and this fundraiser that we're trying to do is very helpful and even then if you can only donate like a dollar think of how much a pound of trash is that you're taking out of the sea with that dollar you donated a lot more information and stuff will be in the description again like i just said but yeah let's get on to the next thing here so we have the polarities mod installed and believe it or not the polarities mod adds in a good bit of ocean related stuff i'm gonna summon them here because i'm not seeing them spawn in naturally so you know i might as well summon them let's start with the kraken look at this thing this thing leaves like little ripples in the water that's pretty sick and look it does the little the little squirt okay i don't like that 
being the way I'm gonna describe that. But I mean, am I wrong? It's a, they're squirting out ink. Very, very cool. I love the animation. Uh, I wonder what happens if I do damage to it. Does it like do anything else? Have any other type of attacks? Maybe it moves faster. I don't know. The other scary creature we can find here in the regular ocean is this like giant sea serpent. Let's see which one is the one I got to spawn in. Look at this. Look at this guy. I love just how they move and how they ripple through the water. It looks really, really cool. And this definitely reminds me of uh, Subnautica, which is a game I've always wanted to play. I'll get around to it eventually you know i got a big backlog of games that i want to play but yeah there might be a couple other ones that you can find here in the ocean but these were the the cool ones that stuck out now the other thing that really sticks out about polarities is that they have a whole entire dimension that we can go to and in that dimension there's also a bunch of ocean creatures there so let's check that out here we are in the fractal dimension this place looks sick i've never seen a large world variant holy but yeah as you can see there's water on the outside that's exactly where we're going hopefully you guys can see it's a little dark out here but yeah there's supposed to be a good bit of scary creatures we're gonna see out here we got a fern imagine a fern attacking you that that would piss me off i'm not gonna lie we got these things i can't even see their name sea anomaly they fly around shoot little little beams ele electric beams electric darts this biome is really sick or this dimension i guess other things that are supposed to spawn we got this thing spark crawler Kind of like a plantera sort of creature. There is something called an orthonic, I believe. Or orthoconic. Something like that. Yeah, there you go. Orthoconic. Kind of looks like a uh, squid. Look at that attack it does. That's like an empress of light attack right there, honestly. But yeah, this is terrifying, honestly. New dimension, bunch of new alien creatures, but it's still cool. That's how like Subnautica is. Terrifying game, but it's still cool. All right, let's move on to our next ocean-based stuff which is the calamity mod let's go check it out all right we are over here at the sunken sea we're doing the sunken sea first i really like the biomes that the calamity mod adds in i think they're really cool compared to a lot of other mods the abyss honestly probably being my favorite biome of all time but yeah we are here in the sunken sea the sunken sea has a lot of cool creatures in it it's got small clams it's got giant clams it's got prism back so this thing look cool we got some ghost bells which are like jellyfish what is attacking me right now? Here you go. Here's the bigger versions of the ghost bells. But the main thing that's here, the main like progression point is the giant clam, which is a little mini boss. And come on, it's a giant clam. Who doesn't want to fight a giant clam? But yeah, giant clam. And then there's also a sea serpent. You see it swimming around over there. There's something called a sea floaty, which looks like a little manta ray something like that look at it but there you go there's the sunken sea sick biome cool looking biome let's move on to what we want to see here and that is the sulfur seas and the aquatic depths when we get over here to the sulfur seas you know there's this little event going on a little acid rain event something like but that's not what we're here to see this is a really cool area though i do think it was cooler when the water was piss yellow you know i think that added more charm to the sulfur seas and it was also funnier but i don't know they got rid of the piss yellow water who knows why right but yeah moving on down deeper as we go deeper and deeper maybe i should switch back to the mountain here there's a lot of ground to cover now the abyss here has multiple layers and uh, each layer definitely gets more dangerous than the last i am in god mode keep in mind that when you want to come here yourself you know during a regular playthrough you're gonna need a lot more equipment and gear but me being in god mode hopefully is enough but yeah look at all the scary creatures we got box jellyfish hey jellyfish are terrifying bro they may look cool and spongebob may have made them look even cooler but jellyfish they're, they're terrifying creatures we got a little moray eel up there we got a devil fish like if that doesn't sound scary we got a toxic minnow bunch of just cool looking fish oh or fish that was one of my favorite fish to fish out of uh the ocean in animal crossing i don't like that game though anymore i'm talking about the new animal crossing that game kind of you know fell off i think uh the only reason why it was as popular as it is was because it came out during covid what else was everyone supposed to do but yeah viper fish cuttlefish giant squid i love giant squids in video games they're awesome same thing with like krakens and stuff they're so cool i don't even know what's going on over there but whatever it was died as we get deeper and deeper though we are kind of in the second and third layer right now once we hit the third layer there should be a very very terrifying creature that could pop out i don't know if it is gonna pop out just because i'm in god mode and i'm not really being detected by creatures right now so i might have to spawn it but let's get a little lower let's get a little lower i'm assuming like the blocks on the side over here kind of indicate the layers i feel like we're kind of in the two slash 
three area because that's where more or the ore fish and giant squids can only spawn in the two and three area oh there it is colossal squid this is the dude i was looking for look at this dude this dude looks cool as hell and not to mention there's also an eidolon worm here so we are in that layer three and four area see if this doesn't make you shit yourself when you're down here then i don't know what will what the hell is this dude doing now here keep in mind this is the baby eidolon worm too not the adult one the adult one doesn't unlock until you beat the poltergast boss so like imagine that thing but like double triple the size both lengthwise and girth yeah, there's supposed to be a couple other uh, terrifying creatures you're supposed to see down here. One of them is a gulper eel. Gulper eels are just terrifying looking creatures both IRL and in the Calamity mod as you can see. Look at that thing. The gulper eel, also known as a throat goat. Honestly, what can that mouth do? I'm interested, but not that interested to do it myself. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm gonna have to kill the giant squid because he kind of like connected himself to me. But we are going deep here. I believe we are coming into like layer four. This is just straight up just like terrifying if we're down here without mods or without a uh, god mode enabled. There is one more creature we haven't seen. Or there's actually a couple, but there's one specifically that we haven't seen. And I'm gonna go all the way to the bottom here. And maybe we should see him at the bottom? Question mark? No? I hope you guys can see. It's a little dark. There's something. Oh my god, it's so scary how the island worm like snakes around behind the box. Oh, look right here. The Reaper Shark. This is the dude I was looking for. What's up? So this is a little mini boss down here. You know, I'm playing on expert. He has a nice 380k health some light this dude is pretty terrifying he's a giant like scary looking shark it's a little hard to see him because it's dark out here let me turn up the brightness i could turn up the brightness just a little bit more doesn't help too much but just imagine coming down here how scary this is and there's also some like puffer fish down here scary looking ones a lot of scary things but i like the scary things you know if you're scared of the ocean you gotta conquer your fears eventually right oh shoot look there's a bobbit worm down here i love bobbit worms bobbit worms are cool creatures but yeah we've seen all these dudes let's see the big boy come on we, we need to see the big boy the big boy idol on worm look at that thing gigantic imagine coming down here no lights no nothing like let's see it without the lights on this is terrifying i'm gonna hop out of god mode for a second and just like that, I'm dead. But yes, there you go. There was a bunch of mods that added in a little bit more ocean, a little bit more just water themed content in general. Uh, we might have missed a couple things here and there. Like Thorium does have an ocean or a beach boss, I guess, the Queen Jellyfish. And then the Calamity mod itself does have a couple uh, ocean themed boss, like the Leviathan. We kind of saw parts of the Leviathan near the ocean over here. Uh, but here's the whole thing. It's kind of terrifying. Like, look at it. Looks like something out of Metroid. But yes, again, make sure to check out the Team C stuff. We're trying to make a difference in the world. Check it out. Again, just spreading the word is more than enough if you can't donate or help it out. Just spreading the word to somebody that maybe can't. That helps out so much. Remember, $1 equals one pound of trash and waste out of the rivers, oceans, lakes. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Shout out to Mr. Beast. He doesn't really need the shout out. But yeah, I'll see y'all next time. Thank you for watching.